go. That, that dented our super chats. Now we can move on. Trooperage donated five dollars. I actually had a wonderful discussion with some drivers while eating dinner at the Iron Skillet. Although trucking is a great job for MGTA, many truckers are blue pill as hell. A lot of obese guys living on pennies while their wife spends dollars, saying about how his life would be so much better without the parasite feeding off him. Told him about my vacation next month to Rio. Happy life. Damn. It, well, yeah, like, it's... You know what's sad is guys are basically they understand how shitty the deal is and they're basically willing to just shower their women with whatever they ask for in order to avoid divorce because they know they can't even ask for anything like it used to be the promise of equality like oh men and women are going to be partners it's going to be 50 50 no you'll get divorced your wife will like it's just because again you're not just competing with other men you're competing with the welfare state. And your wife knows she can divorce you, take your money, get the, ch the kids, the child support, go on welfare, and probably have a better life than staying married to you. And that's what you're competing with. So if you give her any grief, she's like, okay, I'm, I'm collecting my cash and prizes now, and there isn't a goddamn thing you can do. And so guys are just willing to, like you say, they're going to live on pennies while their wives gets the dollars. And they're doing this all because... They were told I was discussing this, is... this the other day at, at, with, with a, a bunch of Orthodox Jews I know. And it's because, you know what? Marriage is one thing that people this generation just can't fuck with at all. It's about sacrifice. There are certain things you have to sacrifice in order to get the things that you want. So in, in a regular secular marriage right now, as soon as women are asked to sacrifice, they're like, why? I'll just take all his shit and go out and never have to sacrifice again. Right. You know, because well, the and government what happened. Because the government is there. Like, if right. you look in, if you look at nature, or in the absence of a giant welfare state, it's not just a welfare state. It's a welfare state. It's the family court system. It's diversity quotas in businesses. It's like equal opportunity. It's all this bullshit, which basically for it forces men to support women they're not fucking. It forces companies to hire women who aren't working, and it's just constant streams of income flowing into women for existing. And there's nothing anyone can do about it because of the majority of voters. So in every election, they always like look at politicians like, what have you done for me lately? What free shit am I getting this election? And they always get something. Like back in back when I was still on YouTube, we were talking about the the pink tax and you know, women who wanted tax free this and and free this. And they they got it. And now, you know, uh menstrual products are free and they're not taxed and it's just it's endless like there is no line we're like oh if women ask for this that'll be that'll that's just crazy that'll never happen of course it will this this train has no brakes women will simply just demand more and more and more until the government runs out of money and collapses and then they'll immediately turn around and say okay who's going to take care of me now if they're attractive they'll find a guy who will take care of them uh, but like these fat old land wells, oh, they're fucked. And the the women who destroyed men's lives, they're gonna die. Like <laughs> daddy's gonna come home like the fucking shining, and he's gonna chop the fucking door down with an axe, and that's gonna be the end of that bitch. So it's uh, it, it's just what can you do? Like unfortunately, we the people who created the system are all dead. The system has been going for a hundred years. The people who built it are dead, and now it's just too big for us. To, we, we can't do anything to fix it. All we can do is separate ourselves from it and let it die. Because there's there's no fixing this this shit. It just it, look again. My solution. Let me let me remind you one last time. My solution is the most humane solution. Like look at look at Afghanistan. They took women's rights away. Did are are there dead women bodies littering the streets? No, they took women's rights oh, away. End the of story. That are dead are the ones that are bitching. Yeah, so they you know there was that one feminist activist that was riddled with bullets, but that's the exception. I mean, some Good. examples. I'm not even joking. They they had to use dental records to identify the body because her body was so riddled with bullets. Uh, so you know, exa some examples might have to be made. Some women, can't, you know, you give them two black eyes and they still don't listen. Uh, but 
most women will get like a good stiff backhand and they're like, oh, that's how it is. Because men are really strong. It's almost like nature made men bigger and stronger and smarter than women for a reason. Uh, so it is what it is. But you're not going to have, you know, wholesale slaughter of women in, in these circumstances. Life will simply go on and honestly, society will improve and a lot of problems will be solved. But if you just continue to promote women and equality and utopian bullshit, we hit the wall at full speed and millions of people die. Men and women. Mostly men. Mostly the men die. Mostly it's the men who pay the price for the society that they weren't even benefiting from. They yeah, basically the remaining get... men will probably take the rest of the women as war brides. Yeah, the, the look, it is what it is, man. Like, when the hard times come, the hard times don't create strong men from the weak men. The, the hard times cull the weak men, leaving only the strong men. That's that's how it be. That's how it. If you if you don't like it, start lifting heavy things and start stop being weak. That's your only choice. Like you can either look. That's natural selection. Isn't fun. It isn't pretty. And doesn't give a single solitary fuck about your feelings. It just is. 